Taking your cat RVing? Where are you going to put that litter box? We're going to answer that question and more in this video. Okay, let's talk about bathroom options for your cat. The first most common option that cat guardians choose is, of course, the litter box. It's easy to train. You, like, literally put the cat in it and, I don't know, somehow they just know. Some of the drawbacks, though, is that you have to have a dedicated space for it and they have a tendency to track out litter sometimes. Your other option is to toilet train and this is less common, but it is possible. Some of the pros to that are that you don't have to deal with any litter, but it might be kind of weird to go to your washroom or restroom and there's a cat business in your toilet because the cat couldn't flush. So yeah, we chose to litter train Benny and so we're gonna focus on that option for this video. Let's talk about where to put the litter. If you happen to have a large rig with a lot of space, you might be able to get away with buying litter furniture. And that is actually a pretty cool way to do it. We have one in our home base and just absolutely love it. It's a small cabinet, so it's got like tabletop surface, but the litter is hidden inside. I've also seen ones that look like giant flower pots and things like that. Otherwise, you could try the shower stall. Although if you choose this option, make sure the drain is covered so that kitty litter isn't being washed down into your gray tank. And I would really only recommend this option if you are an RVer who doesn't use the shower in your rig. Couple other ideas though, are in the storage or garage compartment or under the bed or storage area within your rig, like under the dinette or something like that. There are pros and cons to each location, so pick a spot that works for your routine and your setup. We chose to put it in the storage area under the foot of the bed because it was tall enough for Benny to stand or squat. It's large enough to fit the box and to allow some walking space in front of that to catch any tracked litter. And the entry, which we cut out ourselves, is also tall and wide enough that he doesn't have to squeeze through. Here's how we did ours. First, I made a template for the opening that we wanted to create, and then we drew that onto the panel where the door will be. I cut the door opening, and for this I used a jigsaw and worked from the inside of the panel so that I didn't cut any of the wood framing. I was concerned about protecting the flooring and wood as much as possible within the storage box, so I made an insert using Coroplast just in case Benny ever misses the litter box. And then I added a miracle rug in front of the litter to catch any tracking. Okay, so the um, hole in the under the bed thing with the litter has been working out pretty well for the past year. Um, but now I, I just want to make it look a little more pretty. This door design was really inspired by the beautiful entryways that I've seen in um, our travels around Europe. And so I wanted to kind of reflect that a little bit. We do call our rig the villa or the condo on wheels. And so I wanted to kind of have that, a little bit of a European kind of feel to it and just something fun and funky. chose a clay odorless multi-cat clumping litter and then I add carbon pellets to it for extra odor control. Scooping the litter at least once a day also helps minimize odors and we always know when Benny goes for a number two because he spends extra long time digging and burying it and we generally try to scoop it as soon as he exits so that we don't have to deal with any extra stinkiness. 
To help minimize tracking of the litter, we use the cotton miracle mat, and that catches almost all of the litter he drags out on his feet. There are litters on the market. Several of them claim to be track free. There are a few though that I have tried in the past that claim to be track free, and that was just not the case. In fact, they were worse than the one that we currently use. My only word of caution there though is um, changing the litter type is recommended to be done very slowly. Cats can be a little bit sensitive to that. They are creatures of habit and a drastic change to the litter type that they're expecting in the box can be enough to push some cats to find other alternatives like your laundry basket or your bed. <laughs> If you enjoyed the video, we'd really appreciate if you gave us a like, hit the subscribe button, smash that notification bell, and share the video with your friends. It really helps us grow our community and reach a wider audience. And in the meantime, keep on living the life you've imagined.